Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. With 2018 Tops Inception Baseball, 16 box, pick your team number five from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Here it is. Big thanks, everybody, for getting in. No Royals in this set. Aaron Kreger, Last Spot Mojo Phillies. That's where Bryce Harper's going, Aaron. Crazy. All right. I think this is the case, I hope. It says 16 and 1. So 16 boxes, one pack. Oh, I guess it says Inception right there. Oh, Mark, I have no access to the Jaspi Instagram. Nick handles all of that. But if it... Send it to Twitter, I'll see it. Miles Lacey's in the house. Need a Fulmer. Not worth that contract, Robert Rohr says. Actually, he is. I think they paid him spot on. If you go to Fangraphs and you look at the value page on Fangraphs, you'll see what a player's a monetary value is based on their wins above replacement, as well as um, as, as well as what, what other players have been getting paid. And he's worth about that twenty-five million dollars a yearish amount. So, guess what? Machado and Arenado are valued. Uh, higher than Harper, and they got they got more. So there's Luke Weaver to 150. So actually, just the years are long. A lot of years. Luke Weaver going to the Cardinals, of course. Uh, let's see. Let me use this blank card right here to slow play some of the hits here. And Eric Eiflin, yes, you were here just in time. He's looking for the LA teams. There's Miguel Gomez, green parallel. Noah Syndergaard, base card. There's Jose Altuve. And everything ships in this stuff. Paul Blackburn Rovers. Jacob Faria. And your hit is Noah Syndergaard. Yes, nice. Three color patch and autograph. Five out of 30. What a start. Who's got the Mets? Joe Ivers with the Mets. There you go, Joe. Nice. Good start. Next box. What would I pay for Aaron Judge? What would I pay for Aaron Judge? Forty million a year for Aaron Judge? Aaron Judge. I mean, Mike Trout's forty million dollars a year. I think Aaron Judge. I don't know. I think it's too early to judge, Robert Rohr. The autograph is Max Fried for the Braves, 152 out of 230. He's only played a couple of years. He's been incredibly valuable those first two years. But the problem with Aaron Judge is that he doesn't have the... He doesn't have the demonstrated... Uh, Kind of talent that Bryce Harper has, right? Well, we're not. Com Robert Worse has compared the first two years, but we're not paying Bryce Harper on off their first two years. 
I'm paying Bryce Harper off his body of work. I think he got paid pretty fairly. Look at the average annual value. I think that's where we got to look. Take the 330, take the 330 out of your heads. You know, but divide the 330 by by 13. And that's only about 25.4 million dollars a year. Machado's getting 30 a year. Aaron Nola's getting 32 and a half a year. There's Luke Weaver. At 75, a Cardinals autograph. So I think the Bryce Harper deal, it's a little long, that's for sure. But it's a little long. No opt-outs and no trade clause, which is a little odd. That goes to Ed Ram and the Cardinals. But I think ultimately it's a pretty uh, it's a pretty fair deal for a relatively young player, too. Robert, uh, as for Aaron Judge, I'd like to see a few more years of Aaron Judge. If I'm the Yankees, though, I would try to extend him right now. There he is, Aaron Judge. Is Aaron Judge to 150? And the hit is Jersey Autograph Tyler Maley. Two color patch and auto, 99 out of 99. That goes to Big Boys, 007 in the Reds. Well, one interesting thing is I think there was some, uh, some speculation, oh, maybe there's collusion happening in baseball. People don't want to pay these guys for that many years and et cetera, et cetera. But turns out they did. It just wasn't early in the offseason. I guess teams were willing to pay and were willing to give years. It just took a while, which I, I think at this day and age would make sense. 20 out of 75, Josh Donaldson. I think Josh Donaldson might be – I think he's, he could be due for a nice bounce back season, folks, I think, especially for you fantasy baseball players out there. All right, and nice Franklin Barreto, silver ink autograph, 37 out of 99 for the A's. Scott V with the Athletics. And the next box. Aaron Judge, if you take out that 2016 kind of cup of coffee that it came up for, 2017, he had an 8.2 war. And based off of the salaries of that year and everything, he would be he would be worth $65.7 million, according to fan graphs. In 2018, last season, he had a five war. He would have been worth about $40 million last year. For Bryce Harper, looking at his value, let's say we look at his MVP year, he would have been worth $74 million in his MVP year with a 9.3 war. Got Tyler Wade for the Yankees. Matt Buckler with the Yankees. So I guess that's the ceiling. That's what you're looking for. All right, next one. Oh yeah, Ken Griffey Jr., like prime Ken Griffey Jr. playing now. Yeah, easily over $30 million a year. If he hit free agency at the right time, blah, blah, blah. There's Max Free to 150. All right, and your hit is David Dahl for the Rockies. Nice patch. That's out of 30. 
Great looking color in there. Nice autograph. Rockies, Christopher C. with that one. And we're about halfway through this break, folks. Let's see what box eight has. I think Inception has books, right? Right, yeah, obviously Griffey, much better player than Bryce Harper. Griffey plays defense, too. Yeah, Griffey, now Griffey would be getting like a, would be getting that Machado-type contract, if not something bigger. You know, he would definitely be getting $30 million plus a year. I mean, $35 million a year, something like that. Someone would pay that. As opposed to Bryce Harper's $23, $25.5 million a year. There's Garrett Cooper, rookie auto, 67 out of 99. Yeah, when's, when's Mookie Betts hitting free agency? If he keeps this up, yeah. He can be getting a contract better than, better than Bryce's contract. Parker Bridwell to 150, green parallel in the base cards. And J.P. Crawford, is there a bonus hit in this? 12 out of 25, J.P. Crawford for the Phillies. That goes to Aaron Kreger, last spot mojo. Yeah, and Robert Worsing, you think Mookie Betts is better than Harper too? He is better. Like I said, Bryce Harper is getting $25.4 million a year. Mookie Betts will easily get thirty plus. He'll he'll be making six, seven, eight million dollars more a year than uh, than Bryce Harper. Those guys will get paid accordingly. They're glad Bryce Harper got that contract. Chris Bryant, two color patch and autograph, thirty out of fifty. Rex with his Cubs. Rex, wake up. You got your man crush, Chris Bryant. Dreamy Chris Bryant. This dreamboat going to Rex and his Cubs. There you go, Rex. That was the bonus hit, too. Is Rex even paying attention? Probably not. Yeah, he, he's Chris Bryant's okay. See, the interesting thing is what what does Chris Bryant get? Open market. Or exactly, TJ. Yeah, it, it it's when you see three hundred and thirty million dollars, that's kind of eye watering. But over thirteen years, and it, it you got to look at average annual value a little bit more. I think. There's Greg Allen to two thirty. 57 out of 230. Bill Anton with the Tribe. And then once you start looking at average annual value, then you then it starts to make a little more sense. I agree. The years feel a little long, you know, but maybe that's what the Phillies had to do to lock that guy up. Is Brian healthy this season? Allegedly. Fifteen out of twenty-five. Giancarlo Stan for the Yankees. You know, I don't remember if I did see Chris Bryant. We must have. I didn't see him at bat, though. I saw like when we went to the spring training game on Sunday. We saw Schwarber. Saw some of the other guys. We must have just missed Chris Bryant in the first inning. There's Luke Weaver. Another Luke Weaver. 64 out of 99 for the Redbirds. Ed Ram. Two 
one why am i watching this wannabe gm reality show on nba tv oh it's on all the games are on tnt tonight i can't tell if he kind of there we go all right next box of inception baseball joey knuckles saying seeing as the popularity of the game keeps plummeting every year it's insane actually false Joey Knuckles, we were at the Tops Industry Conference last weekend. And there was a representative from MLB who came out and had a little talk with us about the state of the league. There's Mookie Betts, 99. Um, yeah, TJ, who works in baseball, disagrees as well. Okay, listen. National audience, it's not going to be like the NFL. No one's watching a random Dodgers versus Padres game on Sunday night. But it's... It's not like that. It's not like football. However, regional markets, local markets, minor league markets like TJ's in, Double A, Tulsa, all those markets are doing strong. Look at those TV contracts that they're, that cable companies are giving baseball teams. The popular of the game is not plummeting. It's actually pretty strong. Paul DeYoung to 25. Look at the hobby. Aaron Judge autographs, Chris Bryant autographs. You know the way those are going. Otani autographs. The way everyone's buzzing about Vlad Guerrero Jr., Fernando Tatis Jr. this year. All the attention on prospects. Nice Paul DeYoung for Ed Ram as well. It's pretty strong. The hobby is all money. Exactly. It's only, it's only going to go for that much if, it, uh, if the players and the interest in baseball is, is high. Well, yeah, you can look at you can you can look at individual markets, Robert, but generally speaking, it's pretty strong. And that's why, and especially, that's why this kind of money gets gets thrown around. It wouldn't if baseball was not strong. You don't see any owners selling teams. Well, the Rays, they have to. I think they're they're up for a big TV contract too. They got to get a new stadium. That's the problem with the Rays. There's Lucas Sims, to 230. If the Rays played where the Buccaneers played, you know, where the Tampa Bay Lightning play, they don't seem to have problems with, with attendance. Lucas Sims going to the Braves, Richard Lupu with that one. Christopher Carroll says, always love a Tulsa Drillers game. Oh, you might run into TJ someday. All right, the next hit is Nicky Delmonico, 12 out of 75 for the White Sox. Fidel Cairo with the White Sox. The Drillers, Tulsa Drillers, are the Dodgers AA affiliate. White Sox, Fidel Cairo with the White Sox. Two more hits to go, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. There's Sean Newcomb. Oh, actually, let's go this way like this. There we go. Rymel Tapia, 1 out of 99. And the hit. Good luck, everybody, is going to be an Oriole. Chance Cisco, three-color patch and autograph, 93 out of 249. That'll be four for TJ and the O's. And the last box, 2018 Tops Inception Baseball. 
No randomizer to do, no nothing. Nice clean break right here. Thanks everyone. Good baseball chat. I'm excited about I'm a big baseball fan, folks. That's probably my favorite sport. I like all the sports, but baseball definitely my favorite. Definitely looking forward to this year. Not sure if Chancisco is gonna play this year. It was a little up and down last year. Showed some flashes of being great. There's uh, Rafael Devers at 150, so we'll see what happens with him. All right, and the last hit is going to be Manny Margot, former Red Sox prospect in San Diego. 72 out of 230. Could be a sleeper pick if you have a keeper leagues, ladies and gentlemen. Still very young. And there you go, Manny Margot going to Arthur Hackett and the San Diego Padres. Ladies and gentlemen, that was 2018 Tops Inception Baseball. Pick your team number five from jazbeescasebreaks.com. This is Joe, and we'll break more with you next time. Bye-bye.